Hi, welcome to a new week of Climbing Daily Top 3s. First up, we're talking big walls. At number three, we've got Yosemite climber Jim Herson taking his 12-year-old daughter up El Capitan. He wouldn't even let her take any dew miles, so she had to climb the whole thing properly. Given that most people are pretty happy to drag themselves up there by any means, that's not half bad. Yosemite climber Jim Herson has climbed the nose on El Capitan with his 12-year-old daughter. Now, you may think she just jugged up the lines behind him, but no, Jim decided not to take any dew mars. She's had to climb the route properly. It's a really interesting post from a proud father. You should check it out. We really liked it. Coming in at number two, we've got the first ascent of the south pillar of Kizgil Asker by the China Jam Expedition. A 1,200-metre, 15-day sufferfest with temperatures down to minus 15. Stefan Hansen, Everard Vendenbaum, Nico Favres and Sean Villanueva O'Driscoll are currently on expedition to China. They've called this expedition China Jam and they've been very successful so far. Despite a bit of illness at the start of the trip, they've managed to get to the 5,800 metre summit of Kizel Askar by a new route on the South Pillar. With temperatures down to around minus 15, free climbing up to around 7B and mixed climbing up to around M7, this is a pretty impressive effort. These guys have been big walling all over the world for the past few years. This is perhaps the highest altitude and lowest temperatures that they've encountered so far. And today's winner is Bushido, a 46 pitch monster with difficulties up to A4 plus on the Great Trango Tower in Pakistan. Polish climbers Marek and Marcin have been on a trip to Pakistan where they've climbed Great Trango, which is one of the biggest rock walls in the world. They've done a new route, they've called it Bushido. It took them 20 days to climb. They made four portalage camps on the wall. They've graded it big wall grade seven minus A4. It's got some seriously difficult climbing on. The guys had a real hard time descending. They got to the ridge. They didn't quite make the summit of Great Trango itself. They descended, it took them a long time in really bad weather. They said some of the rappels were the hardest part of the route. That's it today. See you tomorrow when we're talking Alpine routes. It might only be mid-November, but we've already heard of two major first ascents in Colorado. 